Hello, Complexity Weekend, September 23 to 25, 2022 cohort. This video is going to be a cohort participation overview. It's going to cover all the details about how you participate in the pre-weekend and how you participate in the weekend itself. First, just some notes on this document that we'll be going through. This is the CODA document that's being used as our single source of truth for the weekend. It's an updatable document format. And just a few quick tips on CODA before we go through the material. First, the login for CODA, which will enable you to edit certain pages, is the same email address that is getting all the other communication emails and calendar events from us. Second, if you go up in the top right, you can switch between the dark and the light mode. So this is what the light mode looks like, and you can switch into the dark mode if you'd like. And third, if you use control and plus, and minus or control and scroll, you can change the size of the font. You can also hide the sidebar if you want. And these features help make Coda really usable and it's an awesome platform. Hopefully we'll see some of its cool features as we go through today. Also just note that this is a document in progress and a complex system as all systems are. So it might look slightly different and it's gonna be incorporating all your feedback as we go through the process together. So I'm starting on the welcome and how to participate page. The top part of this page provides some opportunities for you to provide feedback. You can email us at complexityweekend at gmail.com. You can click on this link to utilize an anonymous feedback form, or you can use the comment feature in Coda, which is accomplished by selecting text and then hitting the comment button then the comments visible and we'll make sure to address it. Here's how you participate in Complexity Weekend. During September, you'll participate in the pre-weekend program, which we'll go to soon. And during September 23 to 25, during the weekend, you'll participate in the weekend program of activities itself. And for all pre-weekend and weekend activities, it's absolutely join and leave when and how works for you. We aim to provide uh, programs for both the pre-weekend and the weekend that are accessible to all time zones. So please join when works and don't worry about it when you can't join. It's not expected or required of anyone. Here you'll see registration information. This is some text that you can copy and send to a friend. And this is how you register. If you're seeing this video, you've probably already registered, but the way to register is to go to the Complexity Weekend website and then sign in and on the user portal the first question asks if you'd like to participate in the weekend just select yes and you'll be auto registered to participate and a little bit lower on the page on the first page is a directory that helps navigate amongst these different pages so let's go through those pages this page here is about complexity weekend at the top of the page there are some different links that you might want to follow like joining our mailing list where we announce updates and opportunities, checking out our YouTube page where you can see different videos and live streams from the past, going to the events calendar or supporting Complexity Weekend financially. And this page also has some overview information on Complexity Weekend. Additionally, on the top page, learn more about Complexity Weekend overall here. That will link you to the public Complexity Weekend page. And on this page, there are more links from Complexity Weekend. There's information on events. And then under About and More Information, you'll see the values, which you can scroll through. These were generated collectively as a community over the past year or so. You also see participation guidelines, committees, which you can participate in information on stepping up to organize or facilitate, and information on teams. But this video is mainly about the September Weekend Single Source of Truth, or SSOT. Here on the People tab, you'll see a list of all the participants and their first name and eventually their Complexity Weekend username here in this table. We'll collapse that menu over there. And now let's look at how do you participate in the pre-weekend program. Whenever you see a link, it's clickable, and that'll take you right to this page, the pre-weekend program. So this page covers the pre-weekend program. The pre-weekend consists of you scrolling through the single source of truth in your own time, 
and setting aside the time in your calendar for some of the pre-weekend events as well as the weekend events. The aim of the pre-weekend is to build your excitement for the weekend itself, to give you a taste of what complexity weekend activities are like, and to provide many, many opportunities of different kinds for onboarding. So please feel free to join as many or as few of these pre-weekend events as you'd like. Also during the pre-weekend, check out the facilitator introduction videos. This is gonna take you to a YouTube playlist where you'll find a bunch of facilitator introductions. The facilitators are going to be doing facilitated sessions during the weekend, and they're also around as participants, just like you. So check out their videos, get to know them, and they're also exciting to hear from. This table provides different pre-weekend events. You'll see that all dates and times are represented in UTC. That might mean that you'll have to convert time zones. And so the easiest way to get these events on your own calendar in your own time zone is to click one of these two links, either a Google Calendar or an iCal link. These links, if you haven't already been added, will help you get all these events for the cohort on your own calendar. Otherwise, you'll probably have to convert from UTC. And there are various types of events, and those types of events are described here. There's a people events where we'll have a short group conversation and then a bunch of one-on-one -on -one dyadic conversations. We'll then have facilitation training as another kind of event earlier in the pre-weekend where Monica Kang and other facilitators will be talking about facilitation at Complexity Weekend, what it is, why we place such an emphasis on peer facilitation and what facilitation means and hint they're facilitating your participation. They're not speakers or lecturers or here to give a talk. This is gonna be a really engaging interactive experience that the facilitators are there to catalyze. During tech office hours, we will be able to address any technological questions that you're having, any questions about using Coda this tool that I'm in right now, or about Gather, the spatial video chat platform that we use. In Welcome to Complexity events, we'll be having really accessible and engaging discussions around complexity and sharing people's journeys and perspectives on complexity and talking a little bit about how we begin to learn and apply complexity together. In the Purpose of Complexity Weekend session, Sean, one of the facilitators and a co-founder, will be working through some writing as a collaborative exercise that will be about Complexity Weekend's purpose. And during the Teams sessions in the pre-weekend, those sessions will specifically be addressing the Teams process at Complexity Weekend and how teams are formed and what teams can be, how teams are scaffolded during and after the weekend. So that's the pre-weekend. And also there's a calendar view. You'll find that on almost every day, and we can add more if people have requests on almost every day at different time zones, there'll be something to join into. So please just join in, go to your calendar event and join the location link in the calendar event. So that's the pre-weekend from whenever you're listening to this video until September 23, 2022, please join pre-weekend events. Let's go back to the top page. How do we participate in the weekend itself? So all the events during the weekend itself will also be on that same calendar event. So we will have a representation of the program here in a table so you can scan through and so that you can search for different kinds of events like you're interested in the live streams. So here's where you'll find uh, the ability to search and determine what's happening on different days and times UTC. You'll also see the same information on your calendar and more information will be coming closer to the weekend with the exact schedule. But suffice to say, whenever you show up 24 hours a day, there will be interesting sessions and people there for you to connect with and think about teams with. The last two pages that we'll go through here are exploring complexity and exploring teams. Exploring complexity will link to another CODA document that exists across cohorts 
and that is going to be about exploring various topics and methods related to complexity and complexity science. And then in exploring teams, you'll see more detail about how teams form at Complexity Weekend, about the form that you'll fill out to seed a team. This is the team seed form. And there's more information on this page on forming teams, but that's for another session for possibly another video. This video, hopefully it is enough to say that during September, please participate in the pre-weekend program, join the synchronous events and watch the videos in the pre-weekend playlist and also set aside time in your calendar, whatever works for you so that you'll be fully able to show up in the weekend program itself. So thanks a lot. We're looking forward to your participation and your feedback on anywhere that we can improve the documents and the participant experience. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.